How many times have people seen in my 22 years of being an entrepreneur? How many times people flip flop on business decisions, on relationships, on marriages, on their commitment to the children? Sadly, you know, when push comes to shove, oh man, it's work. Oh man, I got to invest money. But the best of the best, guess what they can do? They can fight throughout. They stayed committed. Consider the story of Hernan Cortez, a Spanish conquistador that was based out of Cuba. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them chinches, now I'm making seven figures like. So have you ever flip-flopped on a bold move or a bold decision in your life? Have you done that this year in 2021? Now, how come some people that I see are still succeeding no matter what has been going on? They're still winning. They're leading in business. Yet some people are suffering. And I just want to let you know, the easiest narrative right now to talk about and to discuss and it gets shared and goes most viral is the complainer community. The people that get less light, the get, people that get less shine are the people that are actually succeeding and winning and thriving throughout this economy. So therefore you're flooded. Your social media is flooded, your text message is flooded, even conversation might be flooded with people in agony, pain, complaining. All these things may be confusing you. So can you really get ahead financially in 2022? Can you really say, you know what? I have seen myself in the worst moments, financially speaking, how can I really succeed? Can I really make $100,000 next year? Can I make $500,000 next year? Can I really make seven figures coming up in the year ahead? Can I really do that? Well, the question for you is, did you really commit? Did you really commit? I can't tell you how many times I've seen throughout this pandemic, and forget the pandemic, how many times have people seen in my 22 years of being an entrepreneur? How many times people flip flop on business decisions, on relationships, on marriages, on their commitment to the children? Sadly, I'm always gonna commit to my husband. I'm always gonna commit to my kids. Yeah, you'd be surprised what people flip flop on. Pretty soon you're gonna have to say, you know what? In spite of this pandemic, in spite of these lockdowns, in spite of these mandates, in spite of what every politician wants to send your way, regardless of what goes down, you still have to come through. You still have to provide. And for some of you who might be watching my channel and say, listen, I want the biggest and greatest things to happen in my life. So how can I really get it done? The question for you is, are you really committing? Or are you just very emotional in the moment? Say, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. Next thing you know, when push comes to shove, oh man, it's work. Oh man, I gotta invest money. Oh man, I gotta put some time into this thing. And I don't know, man. Well, I can't tell you how many routes to success I've ever seen and observed either mentors accomplishing or multimillionaires that have had the chance to hang out with the multi-billionaires we had the chance to hang out with. I can't tell you how many of their roads have ever been easy. They've never been easy. They've never been smooth sailing. It's always been rough seas, but the best of the best, guess what they can do? They can fight throughout. They stayed committed. Consider the story of Hernan Cortez, a Spanish conquistador that was based out of Cuba. Defiantly, Spanish conquistador Hernan Cortez left Cuba in search for gold and to command his own expedition in Mexico. Upon landing, he was facing possible mutiny and his own men revolting against him. Silently, secretly, he drilled holes in his ship. And then later on, when he saw his ships that were not seaworthy, he told his men, well, they're not seaworthy anyway, so let me go ahead and burn them. You see, at that point, there was no going back to an easier life back in Cuba. His men had to come together, put their anger aside, their pride aside, and move forward. Otherwise, it's pure death. But it had to defeat the Aztecs, who were superior in numbers in their own land. Get the gold or die. See, Hernan Cortez, he won. And then he went on to further discover California, because he wasn't stopping just at this destination. So my question for you, watching this. Are you going to burn your ships in 2021? Are you going to create a habit where you're going to say, Matt, I'm going to be very careful of what I promise because the things that I promise and I say yes to and I agree to, I will come through. It's a big reason why people don't have credibility, why you may not have credibility with your wife, your husband, your children. is because they know when you say things, yeah, it may not get through. You know, a funny thing just happened. My son and I were just getting haircuts and I was challenging these kids in the barbershop. I said, listen, man, if you do push-ups, I'll give you a dollar for every push-up that you do, right? And I stick my hand and push out, push out, push out, push out. And I, I said, listen, on top of that, you also clean up the barbershop. 
So I'm giving you another 20 bucks. So I give this kid 40 bucks. Next thing his brother says, hey, I want to get my money too. I want to get my money too. So I challenge his twin brother. Hey, if you do push-ups and you beat your brother and you do something that you guys can only do amongst yourselves, I'm going to give you 20 bucks. Next thing this kid busts out 23 push-ups and he does a backflip. I gave him another 20 bucks. So all things being equal. And here's the funny thing, my son, because my son's competitive too. Hey dad, hey dad, what can I do to get money? I want to get some money. I said, kid, you know what to do to get money. It's very easy to get money for me. He says, yeah, I know dad, but I got to read books and create a report. I know, but can I make some money right now? Do some push-ups? I said, hey, there's no problem, kid. Get over here, do some push-ups. But it's, you're two years older than these kids. So I got to do the math. You got to do incrementally a little bit more push-ups because you're a little older, a little stronger than them. I said, okay, dad, let me do 40 push-ups. I said, you know, my son busts out. Boom, does his push-ups. And I come through with my word. He said, you do your part, I'm going to do my part. You see, relationships are easy and easier as you go along when somebody comes through with their word. When you say you're going to do something, do it. Otherwise, don't say you're going to do it and not come through. Otherwise, you start creating a pattern of behavior in yourself. When you see yourself in a mirror, do you see a man or a woman of integrity? Do you see a man or a woman that says, you know what? I love to have this man or woman on my team. That's actually your reputation. You have a certain reputation you're going out there. When you walk into a room, the people stand up and recognize you with good discretion. There's a warrior coming in the room. I recognize this man or woman. I want to shake their hand. I want to get to know them. I want to meet them. So the question you got to ask yourself is, what reputation do you want? In King Solomon's Proverbs, he says, a reputation is more valuable than rubies and gold. And large part of your commitments is about self-awareness. So here's how I define self-awareness. Self-awareness is getting past the illusion of who you think you are and allow people to speak into your life with the willingness for you to change. So the question I asked you earlier, are you going to burn your ships in 2021 and fully commit for you to start thinking like a millionaire, for you to start strategizing like a millionaire. So therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire. Which of these ships are you going to burn? Are you going to burn the ships of procrastination, laziness, lack of planning, blame, hopelessness, self-pity, entitlement, pride, anger, isolation, loneliness, shielding? Isn't it interesting that a lot of these ships tend to sail together? The good news is if they do, once you burn one, it chances are it can catch on to other ships too as well. They can catch on fire. So therefore you can burn those ships and never revisit them. They can sink, burn, and never revisit your life, but you have to make the decision to commit. So if you're watching this video right now, I said, Matt, I'm with this. I'm gonna make sure that 22 is much differently than 21. Then put it in the comment section below this affirmation. I am burning my ships. I am burning my ships. So therefore now can be the beginning of your conquest to start the best years, the beginning of the best years of your financial life. I can tell you this, getting to become a $100,000 income earner, a $500,000 income earner, a million dollar income earner, I tell you this, so many different strategies for you to get there. So many different industries for you to get there. But I picked one. And at the turn of this year, I will then say I've been part of this industry for 23 years because I decided to burn my ships. I picked one industry that I could be very good at but I decided to burn my ships. When I decided to burn my ships, so therefore I'll never live the life I lived previously. So therefore I can give a new focus and attention to the life I'm about to live. That's when my life started changing. And if it changed for me, I know it can change for you. That being said, guys, I'm excited. I'm fired up for you. This is coming towards the tail end of Vlogmas as we near Christmas. So that being said, guys, I appreciate you for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, make sure you click like and follow business page, Mighty Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click like, hit subscribe, and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. With that being said, guys, appreciate you guys. Till we meet again. Continue live smart. Continue love smart. And be money smart today. See you tomorrow.